Natasha from Lala.com, and we're hanging out with the Wigs. They're from Athens, Georgia, and they're looking mighty fine. Thanks. Yes. How are you guys doing? We're doing great. Feel great. It's not too hot. That's what we were just talking about. It's going to be 90 tomorrow. 92, 93. 93. Is this your first time at Bonnaroo? Yeah. It is. As a, it, yeah, I haven't been here at all, so it only took us, we only got lost for an hour on our way here. Got lost for an hour? Yeah. Let's talk about your album, give them all a big fat lip. Did I say it right? You did. I did. Let's talk about the sound. Influences. <sighs> okay. Um, that's kind of tough. I mean, well, I don't, I don't know. I guess, I guess there's a lot of different sounds. I guess we sort of listen to a lot of things, so maybe... Hopefully it's a good thing that maybe it doesn't sound like one thing, you know? Does that make any sense? No. Have you listened no. to her? Just kidding. I've heard Technology. Okay. And I've heard a couple other songs. Okay, cool. I have. What do you think it sounds like? I think it's it's indie rock. It's rock. Um, what, what do you guys think it sounds like? <laughs> I have no idea what it sounds like, honestly. Cool. Why don't you talk about uh, making the album? You guys did it on a college budget, right? Yeah, well, well, yeah, we didn't have any money, um, so we decided that, that to make the record. The only way to make the record was to buy, take any money we had, and buy equipment instead of going into a studio. So we bought all this equipment, recording equipment off the internet, and uh, did the record ourselves with a friend who's an engineer, and then took all the equipment and sold it back on the internet, sold it on eBay actually, and made all the money back. So. Oh wow. That was the only way to finance it, because then we had no debt, you know. And I read something about uh, you signed with ATR Records, and it yeah. took you a year until you did that because you were kind of waiting for the right label because you guys were in high demand. Why did you decide to go with them? Well, I mean, they were the the best label and the first that came and said, you know, we really like this record, we like what y'all are doing, and we want to put it out on our label and, and get behind it and just sort of facilitate what y'all do, you know. And I think a lot of labels sometimes say, well, you guys are great, let's change everything and redo this record, and we weren't really interested in redoing it, you know. We were more interested in writing more and recording another record, you know. Can you talk about your next record? Are you guys in the process of yeah, recording? we're going to Los Angeles in a couple weeks. We're going to record a new record, um, I guess, in July and August. And um, be where you are be on the beach for a couple months cool so yeah. cool. excited about that are you um on tour you guys were touring with mute math right no we that was last year that was last year how was it it was good it was great i think they're here yeah we interviewed them oh you did yeah i haven't checked them out we're gonna um, check them out too we did some more touring in the spring we just are now at home writing because we're about to go do this record so we're writing some more and then uh, I guess at the end of August or September, we'll get back on the road. How is writing? Do you just come up with ideas and then start scratching them down? Or do you guys sit down and say, okay, we're going to write a song? Like, how does that go? Um, I mean, I guess it's different. For, for us, it's, it's you know, Parker's kind of your so main songwriter. He kind of brings stuff in, ideas that he's working on. And then sometimes there's small ideas, big ideas. I don't know. We'll just start playing. We kind of play a lot. We'll sit in the room and play for hours and hours. It's kind of how, it's what's worked best for us, you know? That's cool. Sort of jam it out. You know? Jam it out. Just noodling. <laughs> noodling. <laughs> you guys have for a better sense of humor. For worse, yeah. Well, it's great talking to you. Thanks, Thanks for yeah, doing yeah. Lala.com and Waxy.com. And have fun tonight. Thanks. Yeah.